Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video today from Jerusalem in Israel. So over the weekend I shared some really crazy extremist anti-Israel hate speech coming out of uh, Ireland, specifically Richard Boyd Barrett, who I don't think it's an exaggeration to say is the most anti-Israel politician in Ireland, maybe even in Ireland's history, came out with a call for intifada against Israel. Now for those who don't know what intifada means, it means essentially a violent uprising. There were two, there have been so far two discrete intifadas against Israel by Palestinians, which resulted in restaurants and buses being blown up, suicide bombings and countless Israelis killed in horrible campaigns of terror. So when Boyd Barrett openly on the streets of Dublin was recorded calling for an intifada, he called for Israel to be put down. He said that Israel was a monster which the US had created. And I'm just reading here that um, Israel is a filthy, barbaric, apartheid, colonialist enterprise. So I could really go on, but you get the idea. I shared those extracts uh, from that speech on Twitter and the Twitter slash X, and my tweet ended up going pretty viral in Ireland. The last time I checked the analytics, it was viewed more than uh, one million times and uh, thousands of engagements and reposts and comments and stuff like that. A lot of debate. And I have to say the majority of comments, even from people who were broadly aligned in the pro-Palestinian camp, were quite critical of those uh, remarks from Boyd Barrett and just the general hate-filled bilious, bilious nature of his remarks against Israel. I put together a little press release to try to get some attention to these to this extremist hate rhetoric, hoping that maybe somebody on the more sane part of the political spectrum in Ireland would issue a condemnation. And uh, the first media outlet to pick it up was Gripped.ie, which I understand is a relatively new online publisher in Ireland. And uh, their reporter, Ben Scallon, posed the question to Michal Martin of what he made of those comments and more importantly whether with it, this kind of new revamped hate speech legislation that the Irish government is proposing in the wake of the horrible riots that took place in Dublin. They're looking at overhauling um, their hate speech legislation. Some people say it's already robust enough. And he asked him whether this type of uh, rhetoric would uh, fall under the purview of that legislation. Here's how that response between Grip.ie and Michal Martin went. We saw Richard Boyd Barrett explicitly calling for revolution and intifada against the quote-unquote filthy regime of Israel, that's his words, not mine, and the destruction of Israel as a state. The only thing you can do with a state like this is resist it and bring it down. <laughs> and that is what has to happen with the filthy, apartheid, racist, colonial settler regime that is Israel. So we've got to rise up. The only answer to this is intifada. Revolution, as Asiel said, the collective revolution. So I'm just wondering, as a senior member of the Irish government, would you intend your hate speech legislation to ban comments like that? Or would you see such statements being outlawed under the new hate speech bill? Um, you're you're just obsessed with the hate speech, but anyway, uh, the more serious I think issue. A lot of people in no, the more serious thing I think is his speech is wrong. I think to identify a country uh, as sort of almost like one individual is wrong. Uh, to incite people to violence is wrong uh, in terms of wishing people to participate in an intifada or uh, to describe a country uh, as a psychopath is wrong. I mean, within Israel itself, there are many many different strands of political opinion within the state of Israel. The state of Israel has a right to exist. It seems that, it seems that Richard Boyd Barrett uh, is denying the right of Israel to exist or indeed the Israeli, Israeli people to live in Israel. That's the far more fundamental issue. But, but no, on sorry, the, look, on I'm the, not interested. I'm not but, interested but, in legislation. But, 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 well, sorry, well, sorry, I no. think the Irish public are. I well, think well, the, the, question, the question is, you're drafting this very controversial piece of sorry, legislation. Yeah. My question is, is it the intent no, I know of what the your government? question is. I know what your intent is. So could you and answer it Sorry, then, the last time I answered a question to you, I saw what happened in terms of how you create a context around that. You're not doing that now in relation to this question. I will answer your question the way I feel fit to answer it. And as far as I'm concerned, the more substantial and fundamental issue is the content and substance of what he said. And it needs to be challenged in terms of what he said, in terms of how he describes a country, which in itself uh, can be, uh, in my view, an incitement to violence, but also 
uh, in my view, misses the point uh, that within Israel there are different strands of opinion. You cannot describe it in the manner that he has done. And I would add, I have not seen him comment similarly in terms of the horrific attack by Hamas on uh, October the 7th. I haven't really seen the clarity or indeed the intensity of emotion that he's brought to other issues, which is, he, he can bring, to the issue of Hamas murdering innocent civilians either. But that, those would be my comments on Deputy Boyd Barrow. Uh, I just that, feel that was over the top and it was wrong and, it was, and many people would see bile in that, would see hate in that. And you know, we uh, saw before we saw before the war started in in, 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 in in before the October the seventh, we saw how Israel was very politically divided on issues to do with the judiciary and so on. And what that illustrated was different strands of opinion. Uh, within a given state uh, and you can't sort of describe everybody living in Israel or Israel as just one sort of uh, uh, through the Policy. prism of one narrative. No, no Thank you very much no, indeed. So what do I make of all this? I think that from the perspective of Irish viewers, Micheál and Martin's responses are probably going to dark criticism because a lot of people in Ireland, any time that uh, the freedom of speech is going to be restricted or there's, you know, considerations of some restrictions being posed on it, that draws a lot of worry that that power is going to be abused. So I think that for Michal Martin to come along and say, I'm not interested in this legislation and to just kind of throw out to the journalists that he was obsessed about it, it seems like very, very weak. Uh, like that is a very legitimate question that he asked. And I think that that response was a pretty weak deflection. I also think that from the Israeli perspective, from my side, of the world over here. Um, I think that I, I don't want to be too harsh on Michal Martin because he did offer some kind of condemnation, albeit very kind of tepid. And he went on and on about Israel being a pluralist society, which I think is kind of totally irrelevant uh, in this conversation. Um, you know, but uh, he did, as I say, offer some condemnation that those kind of remarks and incitement to violence is not helpful and unacceptable. It wasn't quite as clear a condemnation as I and many would have liked, but it's better than nothing. What do you think of the response on this whole uh, episode? If you have thoughts of your own, please consider leaving them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and until the next video.